Hello guys, good day to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to our latest update and this time it's not for the usual, uh, it's not on the usual uh, weather analysis but on the new potential tropical cyclone that could develop anytime now, okay, so this is now the initial update on LPA 93W for today Thursday, May 23, 2024 and this is uh, our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation in partnership with Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you want to know more about the BPI's uh, social responsibility, just click on the link here. Or if you're watching via Facebook page, go to the description of this video. There's a link there towards uh, BPI website. And also Avenue Plaza Hotel, one of the finest hotels in the Bicol region. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordado. So let's begin now with our update on this incoming uh, weather system that could push the start of the wet or rainy season across the Philippine Islands as it is likely to also enhance the southwest monsoon early next week. And together with the frontal system, and here's now the new system, it's quite broad, although for the past few hours, the uh, main core has uh, been devoid of any uh, cloudiness. This is due to a diurnal process from time to time. This LPA is always uh, been affected by the diurnal process of the atmosphere, and this cloudiness will again re-intensify or regenerate within the next uh, 12 hours, especially during the night time, and is now moving towards the eastern sections of our country, particularly uh, eastern Visayas and the Bicol region, and is likely to pass over or very close to these uh, islands uh, sometime Saturday to Sunday, okay? So right now, it's now within the Philippine Air Responsibility. Uh, Japan Meteorological Agency already upgraded it into a tropical depression while uh, Pagasa is still, uh, we're still waiting for their updates. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at the zoom in satellite animation to show to you how uh, large is the system, although it's becoming more uh, scattered or dispersed as of this time. We expect this uh, cloudiness of uh, LPA 90 w will again uh, regenerate during the afternoon and evening so here's the loop there you go it's somewhere here around six degrees 133 east longitude so uh this will be uh the start of the rain event over visayas parts of mindanao and the Bicol region beginning uh actually tomorrow there will be some thunderstorms already and uh, saturday and sunday will be the brunt of this uh weather system and uh, computer models are predicting an intensification into a tropical cyclone likely to be a depression or a tropical storm as it uh, passes uh, over or very close the Bicol, uh, over the Bicol region sometime uh, Saturday evening or Sunday morning so we will keep you updated from from now until uh, the weekend so uh, as you can see, uh, it's still uh, uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, so thunderstorms will again appear over various sections of the country as the afternoon progresses. So uh, let's take a look now at the uh, uh, track that we issued uh, early uh, this morning around 2 a.m. This is based on the 11 p.m. Uh, first uh, storm watch on LPA 93W. By the way, this system will be named as uh, Aghon. Okay. It's a Hilagainon uh, term, uh, meaning uh, uh, compass. Okay. It's a term for uh, a compass. So uh, it's uh, uh, a new name. Aghon is uh, first time being used this year. Okay. Here's the track and it will uh, pass very close to the coastal waters of Eastern Visayas and Bicol region within the next 48 hours. Okay, so let me uh, zoom this. So this is the zoom in the uh, track that we issued last night. So the storm right now is somewhere here. 
So not far from our tracking, but this will change because some of the uh, uh, tracking uh, has shifted more closer uh, towards Eastern Samar and uh, Eastern Catanduanes. So that, that's the new track right now based on the majority of the computer models. Uh, the uh, uh, European model is tracking it over Samar and into the heart of Bicol region before it uh, exceeds uh, the coastal waters of Camarines Norte. So that's the forecast right now, the newest from the uh, European model, while the American model is similar to this uh, uh, track. There will be some shift of the track later this afternoon. If it does intensify, we will be issuing advisories, no longer Stormwatch, since it's already upgraded into Tropical Depression. So the name Aghon will be uh, issued by Pagasa anytime today, and we will check it in a short while. Now let's take a look at the, uh, oh, let me discuss first what will be the timeline. So the storm is likely to pass very close to Bicol region uh, in the afternoon and the evening of Saturday, May 25th. So please take all necessary precautions and prepare. Those living along the uh, flood prone areas, okay, riverbanks, because uh, the rainfall based on my estimate, is around 50 to 150 millimeters, but it may go up to 200 millimeters due to the uh, possibility of a slow, uh, of slowing down, okay? Uh, just to the north of Bicol because uh, it will start to recurve towards the southern islands of the Japan. So uh, take note of this, uh, what we call as cone of uncertainty, okay? So... Uh, and it means that the, the track of the storm may either move to the left, okay, here, or to the right, here. So that's why we have a cone of uncertainty because any any time the track will wobble more to the left or to the right. So that's the nature of a tropical cyclone as we move into the next three days, okay. And the 24 hours is much, much higher in variability, around 80 to 95 or more than 90%. Here is now the uh, latest initial track from uh, Japan Meteorological Agency, and it shows here, let me zoom this, that uh, the track will come close to the eastern uh, shoreline of Catanduanes. That will be uh, during the evening. Yeah, still the same, evening of Saturday. And it's likely around uh, 80 kilometers to the east of uh, Pandan, come uh, Catanduanes, or 160 kilometers east-northeast of Naga City. So we expect that we will be experiencing heavy rains with some gusty winds if it does intensify. But if it remains as a tropical depression or low-pressure system, it will still dump heavy rains. So uh, please take all necessary precautions. Those... Uh, uh, over flood prone areas okay and uh, this is the reason why uh, the system is likely to intensify right now if we look at the oceanic heat content this is the energy derived from the warm ocean sea surface temperature that could boost the uh, intensity of a tropical cyclone so right now the system is here moving away from much warmer oceanic heat content over uh, less warmer areas although look at this if it passes very close to uh, Samar and uh, Catanduanes okay the OHC is uh, so high okay so it could rapidly intensify this tropical cyclone that's why we should prepare for possible heavy rainfall and gusty winds if it does so we will keep you ad updated on that oceanic heat content from NOAA. So this is a special tool that we are using when uh, forecasting the track of a cyclone. That's why uh, when a tropical cyclone passes by, sometimes it quickly becomes a super typhoon in a span of 12 hours. Quickly like that, okay? So fast because of the oceanic heat content. So let's hope and pray that it won't rapidly intensify. But again, I'm showing you this just to be prepared of what may happen within the next 48 hours. Here's the uh, steering environment, okay? Uh, 
uh, this will guide the storm where where it will go so right now the system is over the southwestern edge of the high pressure ridge okay situated here to the southeast of uh, Japan so on the forecast it's going to uh, f uh, fight this uh, ridge and move more to the north it's uh, some sort of a, a better effect okay that's why if the wind is going light that way the system will try to uh, fight more poleward okay so that's the scenario from the uh, computer models it will track towards the northwest and if we take a look at the uh, uh, this is the shear okay wind shear environment okay above the storm and right now it's favorable for development although it will pass over neutral conditions but here to the north of Biko region it's very very low the wind shear is very low and it's very favorable for intensification or development now here's the multimodal diagnostic comparison so this is uh, based on the other model hwrf and gfs so uh, right now it's still here at 20 knots and it's likely later today it could uh, reach uh, an intensity of 25 knots and look at the uh, uh, shear it's very low less than 10 knots so it will uh, pave way for more development of this uh, LPA although it's large usually large system or larger systems are uh, slowly uh, they can't uh, cope up for rapid intensification unless it's a small system smaller system so it will take time to develop okay and uh, upon uh, passing over the Bickle region there might be a slight increase of the wind shear so let's hope it will uh, slightly weaken but it's dynamic every six hours the shear changes and here's the uh, sea surface temperature at 30 degrees and the mid-level uh, relative humidity is very high at 80 percent a sign that this system has a uh, lot of uh, lots of moisture within the circulation okay so this is the uh, track of the hwrf hitting the one s and this one is uh, recurving okay now let's take a look at the rain so we are more concerned of the rain although uh, it's been a month since we experienced heavy rainfall or almost three months since january less rainfall over here and uh, most parts of the country so this will be a uh, relief okay once the uh, system passes by a much needed rainfall for the farmers but it's uh, it, that's good news for them okay but uh, it's gonna be a bad news for those living over flood prone areas uh, let's uh, move this on Friday so by tomorrow that we will be already experiencing some rain showers and thunderstorms because of the uh, outer extent of the circulation of this uh, LPA or soon to be Aghon okay or we can call it three Aghon and on Saturday heavy rainfall will occur over summer and uh, northern Leyte summer provinces okay and on Saturday, it will envelop the whole of the Bicol region, including uh, Mindoro, Marinduque, Southern Tagalog provinces, uh, Panay, Bacolod, and also Cebu will be experiencing some rainfall. Bohol, let's hope uh, they will uh, experience uh, some heavy rainfall as well, since this only a forecast sometimes. If this is uh, the rainfall is here, in reality, it's over Bohol. So. Uh, just expect this uh, rainfall brought about by this upcoming uh, low pressure system that is now a tropical depression based on Japan Meteorological Agency and we will upgrade it anytime today so watch out our first advisory so in the evening oh look at that heavy rainfall over Albay so it's gone and uh, the system will now emerge over the coastal waters of Camarines Norte, northwest of Daet. And look at this heavy rainfall occurring over Partido, Caramuan. So this is uh, somewhat a very heavy rainfall. 
Okay? And then in the evening, look at that. This is likely to be a 100 millimeter rainfall in the span of uh, uh, 12 hours, affecting the whole of Camarines provinces and also Albay. So, uh, possibility of uh, by, uh, flooding is expected. So, we will stop there because the rain forecast, this is based on the uh, uh, 2 a.m. update from European model. The ECMWF uh, will resume sometime 5 p.m. for the latest one. So, this is the last one and it shows... Okay, there, there. So, this is a very heavy rainfall. If we click it, it's around 48.9 millimeter for three hours. So this is an extreme rainfall event. So we should be prepared for the outcome of these rains. Although we needed it because of the uh, uh, lack of water beneath our mountains. Okay, what we call as aquifer or our groundwater. It's uh, drying up because of the effects of El Nino. So this is a relief. Uh, 200 up to 300 millimeters is still likely because of the uh, slowing down of the system north of Daet sometime Sunday. Okay, and by Monday, Tuesday, it will be the southwest monsoon. Okay, here occurring uh, over western Visayas. So that's the rainfall. And if we take a look at the uh, uh, Global Tropics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA issued uh, yesterday, Wednesday, May 22. And this is valid for the next two to three weeks. On week two, valid May 29 to June 4, there will still a uh, 20, uh, more than 20% of a tropical cyclone formation here. So maybe this is after uh, Aghon. Once Aghon departs, there might be another one forming here, but look at that. We are now on the above average rainfall because of the onset of the wet season over Southeast Asia and the Philippine Islands, as well as during week 3, June 5 to June 11, there might be another formation of possible one or two tropical cyclones left or in the right of the Philippine Islands, so we should be prepared for the uh, arrival of the Southwest Monsoon. Although this is still highly uncertain, weekly, this is much more of a reality. A week two, around 50 to 60 percent probability. So, there you go, that's the latest for today, May 23. We will return tomorrow. So, this is now a uh, daily update since we have a tropical cyclone from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua saying, Stay safe always, be hashtag uh, weatherwiser. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.